George Mason University, and most importantly, dear teachers and students of UMT. Assalamu alaikum and good morning to you. I am honored to be here uh, to take part in the opening ceremony of the International Conference on Innovation and Internationalization in Pakistani Higher Education here at the University of Management and Technology, Lahore. The United States government recognizes that strong economic growth depends on a strong educational system. That is why the U.S. mission to Pakistan supports economic growth in this country through a variety of programs which increase access to finance, improve workforce development skills, encourage the use of new technologies and management practices, support institutions of higher education, as well as expand domestic, regional, and international trade. University partnerships and academic linkages are Department of State cooperative agreements establishing links between American and Pakistani universities with a specific academic focus. Currently, the U.S. government has university partnerships with nine different universities in Punjab worth $9 million. Through the U.S.-Pakistan Academic Linkages Program, the U.S. government is supporting an academic linkage between George Mason University's College of Education and Human Development and its Center for International Education with the University of Management and Technology, Lahore. The funding for this program totals approximately 433,000 U.S. dollars. The focus of this linkage between UMT and GMU is faculty development. Forty faculty members from UMT have traveled to GMU for a two-week extensive program. A delegation from GMU also traveled to UMT under this partnership for a week to conduct various professional development workshops. In a similar fashion, the U.S. mission in Pakistan has supported 19 university partnerships among U.S. and Pakistani institutions, helping universities across Pakistan to improve curricula and develop their faculties. Far from traditional paradigms of teaching and research, higher education institutions and universities are finding new ways to collaborate with one another for the development of higher education to uplift national and regional economies. Innovation and internationalization are key factors of success for the 21st century for higher education institutions. Allow me to give you a few examples. The U.S. Department of State, in partnership with FHI 360, a nonprofit human development organization, and the University of Pennsylvania, is producing five new massive open online courses, or MOOCs, for English language learners outside of the United States. These MOOCs will help pre-intermediate and intermediate level learners improve their skills in business and entrepreneurship, journalism, career development, and media literacy, as well as science and technology fields. These MOOCs are available on courseera.org. Course ERA is an example of innovation in higher education and internationalization. It has 24 million learners, 149 universities, and offers 2,000 courses with 160 plus specializations and two degree programs. 61.5% of course ERA's enrollment is outside the United States, with Brazil, India, and China leading the way. <coughs> its faculty consists of professors from more than a dozen leading universities in the United States, Canada, and Britain including Duke, Princeton, the University of Michigan, and the University of Edinburgh. Similarly, Khan Academy, another online resource, is helping students to complete their education through short lectures in the form of YouTube videos. Here in Lahore, Information Technology University and edX, the global education platform founded by Harvard University and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, have entered into a memorandum of understanding to integrate edX courses into their degree programs. Through, another, through a number of other exchange programs, including the International Visitor and Leadership Program and the Fulbright Program, the United States is connecting professionals from our two countries and making our nation stronger. We welcome our University Partnership Program alumni to join the family of more than 6,000 alumni in Punjab and more than 22,000 from all over Pakistan. In fact, it's these networks which are born from personal exchanges and relationships fostered by higher education that make a difference in our economies. This past Saturday, I attended a CEO's conference with Ahsan Iqbal, the Federal Minister for Planning, Development, and Reform. Uh, at the conference, we discussed how to ignite economic growth and how to improve private sector investment in Pakistan. The minister talked with excitement about the U.S.-Pakistan Knowledge Corridor, which will see up to 10,000 Pakistani students pursuing their PhD studies in the United States over the next 10 years. He underscored that there was a clear correlation between a U.S. education and a country's economic development. The minister also stressed that the biggest investment in Pakistan that Pakistan can make for its future was to create a knowledge economy. He explained that without the appropriate software or human resources, 
the hardware or infrastructure being currently developed under the auspices of CPEC will go to waste. I have no doubt that innovation will be a critical part of Pakistan's future, and we are glad and honored to be a part of that process. I hope this conference provides all of you with the opportunity to reflect on innovation in Pakistani higher education and the opportunity to work together to find solutions to our shared challenges. Thank you for your attention. Bohut bohut shukriya.